All right, welcome to Dudes Outdoors. We want to take a chance to uh, kind of explain our, our channel and kind of what we're about and uh, take an opportunity to describe what you're going to see here and the activities we're going to take part in. And kind of let you guys know that we are now a channel that's here for you, for you guys who just like to be outdoors. Yeah, and basically you're probably asking yourself, well, who are you? And uh, we're just everyday average guys. We enjoy the outdoors. We enjoy helping each other become more spiritually inclined. We enjoy uh, building lasting friendships and, and growing in all aspects of life. And, you know, some of us are people who have been in church our whole lives. Church our whole lives. Some of us have been in church for, you know, just some of our lives just recently. And there are some that what my dad would call pre-Christians, which are people that we're hoping to get there. And obviously, you know, we want to be a channel that's available for everybody in between those stages of life, you know. As you're moving up that line and you, you, you want to know, well, what is this Christ guy like? And and how does he impact my life? You know, we want to be here to, to explain that. If you've known Christ for a little bit of time and you're like, how do I grow deeper in love with him? And we'll, we'll teach you about that. And we'll try to, you know, share our experiences. Maybe you've been a Christian your whole life and you've got great knowledge to share. This is an avenue to do it. We want to make this an interactive place where we can all grow in Christ and, and, and be better, better Christians ultimately. Because all of us either have a relationship, don't have a relationship, or need a better relationship. And, and that's what we're here to build, is to build those relationships. All right, so that's who we are, but what's our purpose? We want this community to be a place where we can all come together and fellowship. We want to be able to grow, and mainly we want to be able to provide accountability because the reality is we need someone to hold us accountable. When we're left to our own devices, sometimes we take the path that's easiest, and we want somebody to stand up and go, hey, man, you need to make sure you're reading your Bible. Hey, man, you need to uh, you know, get out and exercise this week. Thank you for that, by the way. Thank you. Uh, we want to make sure that we have somebody that says, hey, I think what you said to so-and-so was, was not the right thing, and you might need to go back and apologize because sometimes we get so caught up in our own selves that, that we don't see the world around us the way other people do. And that's what accountability partners are. And uh, I think you want to elaborate on that a little bit, right? Well, the verse is, as our verse goes, is as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. But the Benson Commentary goes on to say this, it quickens his ingenuity, enlivens his affections, strengthens his judgment, excites him to virtuous and useful actions and makes him, in all respects, a better man. Very true statement. We feel this verse is at the center of our responsibility to each other. God mandated himself in the Great Commission, you know, his last statement to his disciples was, you know, go into all nations and make disciples. I mean, that's our goal. We have to go and make disciples. And that requires us to sharpen each other. That's right. And Mission fields are not just what you see people going to China or to Central America. There's lots of missions that go out there, and these are good things. People need to be there because that's where the harvest is. Right. But the reality is the harvest is also here. <laughs> we have plenty of people in this country that need Christ. And so we have chosen, we feel it is our, our duty and our calling right now, that Dudes Outdoors wants to reach out to the harvest that is us men who like being outdoors. Yeah. Either know God, want to know God, or don't know God. We're those pre-Christians, but you know what? We might be curious what it's all about, but we just love being outside. And frankly, let's admit it, that's where we're closest to God, is out here with what he created. And the thing about making disciples is it's, it's never a single event. It's not like you can just, you know, go to somebody and say, hey, this is Christ, and explain that to them, and then they be a disciple. That, that's not how it works. It's not a single event. If you've ever watched a blacksmith make anything, or maybe you yourself, if you're an outdoorsman like me, you sharpen your knife that you've used in the field, it's not that you can just, you know, do one time and it's sharp. You've got to spend time honing that blade. You've got to spend time, if you're the blacksmith, hammering that iron into the, the, the formation that it needs to be. And it, sometimes it takes many times before that object gets to, to even resemble the correct thing. And, and rarely is it ever perfect. And then you go out into the field and you use that object, and what happens to it? It gets dull. And, and that's what the world does to us sometimes. It, it dulls us. And we need a place where we can go back and be sharpened. Right. We need people where we can be sharpened that are willing to look at us and say, hey, man, you're getting a little dull in this respect. Let's get back on track. That's right. It's all about accountability. And that's our goal. We want to be a place where men can sharpen other men, where we can help sharpen you and help really benefit your relationships you have outside of what we do here. Because we're here for you. We're here for each other. We're here to experience life Outdoors. Absolutely. And frankly, we'll have a few laughs along the way. Yeah. All right, so the next question is, you know, well, what is this going to look like then? And one of the things we want to do is we want to create videos uh, to share ideas 
about outdoor activities. You'll notice there's some already up that, that we want to encourage you to take a look at. Uh, whenever we see a, a great deal or something, we're going to try to tell you about that great deal because we want to give you an opportunity to, if you like the outdoor activities, to participate in those with good, good deals at great prices. If we come across a, an item that we find that's very helpful you know, on a fishing trip or on a hunting trip, we want to promote that item so you can know what's out there. But at the same time, you know, we want to put devotionals out there on our website that you can listen to that will help impact you for Christ, not just outdoor activities. We want to provide online teachings to hopefully shed some light on what the Word says because ultimately we need to all be in the Word, and, and those videos will help do that. Yeah, and we're, we're here to also try to encourage you to get outside and get healthy. And we're going to encourage you to participate in outdoor activities to, to reach that goal. Right now we're working on signing up our very first obstacle mud race. It's called the Muddy Brute. It's going to be in a couple months. Yeah, I'm going to train really hard for that, and, and he's pushing me pretty good, because, as you can tell in the video, but I'm not exactly in the greatest of shape. Well, I'm going to work on sharpening this guy here, but we're yeah. going to do this race. We're going to make it happen. Yeah. We've actually just had a fourth friend ask to sign up and, and go do this race. It's going to be exciting. This is what we're all about, is encouraging each other, pushing each other past the points that we're comfortable with, and breaking outside of our comfort zones, because sometimes you have to, because... You can't improve on yourself unless you're getting outside your comfort zone. You've got to challenge yourself or else it's just going to always stay the same. Yeah. It's the definition of insanity. It's really what it's The it same is. thing, expecting different results. Exactly. Absolutely. And the thing about it, too, is you talk about comfort zones. Sometimes when your relationship with your spouse is not going well, that's uncomfortable. And to have somebody call you on the carpet because maybe you're the one in the wrong, that may not be comfortable for us, but I think God calls us to that. You know, and that's part of that iron sharpening iron. And not just our spouses, but our friends, mm -hmm. our, 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 fa our extended families. Uh, I mean... There are relationships we have in all aspects of life that we really have to make sure we're, we're giving the proper attention to and due focus. And how do we do that? Well, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you. Are we going to fix them? We can't, we can't say that we're going to fix them, but we're here for you to help you in any way. Ask any questions. Do whatever you need to do. But we are here to help you. I, uh, the pastor of the, the church that I go to right now, he says, you know, we're always going to be working on us about getting ourselves better at everything. But he said that the point we become what we're supposed to be is when we start working on others. So that's what we want to do. We want to encourage you to work on others. Uh, the reality is, you know, we may not have all the answers, but if you ask a question, we're going to do our best to find that answer because that answer is going to be important to us because obviously it's important to you if you're asking. And you're going to be important to us. And ultimately, when you feel important, I think that you have to feel like you can belong somewhere. And we want you to feel when you come to Dudes Outdoors, you don't have to like outdoors. You can just love the Lord. But if you love the outdoors and maybe you're not sure about this Christianity thing, we still want you to go com comfortable here. And there's things on this channel for you. And then maybe, just maybe, you'll get inspired one day to check out one of the devotional videos. And maybe that will impact your life in a positive manner. And that's our ultimate goal. And that's what it's going to look like on this channel. And, you know, truly it gets back to what Benson said, right? That's right. It's like Benson's commentary said, you know, as iron sharpens iron, one man sharpens another. But really what we're here for is in all respects to help you. Be a better man. So if you like what you're hearing, then the next thing you might be asking is, well, how do I become involved? And the reality is, we want you to just be a part of our online discussion. You know, we have a Twitter account that we post to regularly. It's at Dudes Outdoors. The same for Instagram, at Dudes Outdoors. Obviously, you're here at YouTube. Check out our channel on YouTube. You know, that's where we're going to post our videos and, and things like that. And that's where we can really facilitate a discussion. You know, we're looking for your feedback, you know, your comments. And... Negative comments and positive comments, you know, they're all welcome because the reality is sometimes the negative comments are what sharpen us the most. But the reality is we also want your prayer requests. If we're going to be a fellowship, if we're going to be a brotherhood in Christ, if we're going to be dudes outdoors committed to sharpening each other, then we got to know what's going on in your life in order to know how to pray effectively. Because there's one thing we believe in here is the power of prayer. We're going to pray every time we see those requests. Okay, we're going to say a prayer for you. We're going to do our best to respond to every one of those personally and let you know, hey, man, we're praying for you. Let us know what you need. Because, you know, as much as we want to sharpen you with these videos, we want to be sharpened by you. And if it's not a, a two-way street, if it's not a discussion, if it's not an online community that, that all works together, then we're really not going to be as strong as we could be. And how else can you get involved? Well, where are you? Where are you in your life? Where are you in your location? Locationally, maybe you have friends around you that need this, that need to know that God is here for them, that, that there is an answer for some things, that, or just even need to know how to shoot a 9 millimeter. I don't know. <laughs> there we'll may be some people out there it. that just need this as an outlet, just need to, just a place to get away from. We're here. But where are you? Can you reach anyone? Is there anyone that you can just 
touch with any aspect of what Dudes Outdoors is all about, getting outdoors and getting connected with the work. Yeah, if you've got friends of yours that are unchurched, send them the videos that we do that are not church related. Let them kind of understand who we are before you start, you know, connecting them the other way. And then you just continue to pray and encourage them. And that's how you can be involved in this right there. Because it's all about winning souls. It's all about promoting Christ. And our world needs it. And like you said, prayer requests, bring them. Bring yeah. those prayer requests because we're a bunch of guys here to pray for you. That is ultimately the lifeline of what we can be about is prayer. If you need something lifted up in prayer, we are here for you. Just tag it there at the bottom of the video. Just uh, do it at Dudes Outdoors. We'll see it. If you want to direct message us so that it's not public, yeah. completely understand. If you want to keep it private, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it private. If you send anything direct, we will not post that. We will not put it out there. But we will pray because that's what we want to do. Absolutely. You know, because we're all iron. Every one of us walking around here, we're humans and we're iron. And the Bible says, you know, that we need to sharpen iron. And we're not formed perfectly yet. And we're not going to be anytime soon probably. But if we're not continuing to improve our serve, if we're not continuing to, to sharpen each other, then we're really missing the, the purpose of why we're here on, on earth. And, you know, every video we're going to close with a tagline. And I'm going to do it right now as we bring this video to a close. Because we want to remind you that as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. I'm still going to put that in. Oh, covering this up.